Good morning, all of you inaccurate laser firings. It is I, Jules, of the What Culture Gaming Channel, joined by brand new boy, Josh Brown, aka the Top Shop model of What Culture. <laughs> How are you today, Josh? You're right. <laughs> I'm all right, yeah. Excellent. Well, you know that I know that you are new to news. I am new to and news. And this, this is news. But there's a thing that happens here. Right. It's a little thing called Hit That Jingle! What's that? There's news? Oh my gosh! Guess it's time for Jules and Josh! Brilliant! Yes, that's right. We're here with some hot, tasty gaming news. And this time, it's to do with Star Wars. What's been going on with that lovely, lovely stuff? Well, EA has gone back on what they... Well, not what they said, but what they implemented in the recent Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. regards to loot boxes and how... Um, progression of your classes were sort of implemented there. They've completely overhauled it mm. now. It was it was quite a big big issue for a lot of people, wasn't it? Because uh, they were talking about the fact that you could get uh, pay, there was a pay to win structure almost effectively yeah. because you could buy better star cards. You could just spank a load of cash on it, and it would allow you to unlock tiers that weren't weren't uh, necessarily um, unlocked by milestones or progression. Well, that's the thing. They were, sorry, so they, they were, they, now they've come back. Yeah, there were fears that someone could just boot the game up, mm -hmm. uh, keep buying these loot crits to get crafting points or star cards mm -hmm. that were mm -hmm. that would buff you out essentially, so, you, so they could just keep using them on the battlefield. So it meant that someone who played for hours and hours mm -hmm. might be coming up against someone who's played for an hour and get absolutely wrecked by, you know... Because they would have had, cards. like, regenerating health or, like, yeah. a, a cooldown timer that's far, far superior. Now, I didn't experience much of this when I was playing the beta, but I understood, because Scott and I had a discussion about it, the implications of what that would, that would be. I mean, you've got a game that is majoritively online-focused. That would have killed it if, basically, you would have had that disparagement between players. But they have now come back and said that they have got... Lots and lots of feedback from testing of the beta, and they have said that they're going to change everything. Have you got all of the lists of the, the changes they're making? I have. I've Fantastic. Got, got all of them. Let's guess, do it then. Well, we can start with weapons is, is where we should begin, sure. I think. Because originally these weapons were just gained in loot crates, mm -hmm. um, whereas now most of the weapons are going to be uh, locked behind um, milestone up, like milestones to reach in-game. So if you play cool. as a class... Yep. You, it would just be the, the standard battlefront battlefield uh, unlock system, system essentially. Yeah. How they've done it all before yeah. is how it's going to be now. That's fine. There are still a few weapons to be unlocked in crates. Okay. Um, they're like special weapons, but individual class weapons are now going to be unlocked as you play those classes. Okay. That. Well, I mean, that's exactly what we want, really, isn't it? I know that you can add in lots of um, modifications to the weapons, oh, and yeah. I saw a few of them when we went down to our hands-on playtesting for the single player um, in London, but. I wonder if there will be if those will be locked behind milestones as well, like unlocking sites or unlocking different thermal bits and things like that, or whether or not they'll just be down to the crafting system again. Mm. It, that's still unclear. Well, yeah, that is still unclear because there are the class-specific gear mm -hmm. is now unlocked by playing as the classes. Good. Um, but that, which apparently includes star cards and okay. crafting materials, which ah. can only be used for specific class-based gear, but I don't know if that means attachments or if that means, okay. you know, something else. I don't know if if there's a, if there is still a way to unlock um, attachments through these crates. I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, you kept that a bit vague, yeah. but, you know, it's still yeah. a better system than what they had. I think. Yeah, I mean, like, the fact that you actually can play as a specific class and get rewards for that class, that seemed like a no-brainer. Yeah. It seemed, seemed like that should have been implemented from the beginning, but glad to see that they are making that change. What else have we got? Well, this is this is quite the biggie because okay. what we were saying before, when um, you could just by the way, by the way, sorry, this this is Josh's oh, yeah. notepad. By the way, he's I know he's new to the game, but he's uh, he's he's hitting I'm it pretty prepared. hitting it pretty strong with this. That's going to mess up with the green screen. It is. Can't even see that. It's a Frankenstein <laughs> head. Anyway, carry on. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So they've got rid of um, epic star cards. Right. Okay. Which was the, they were like the real big buffs in mm. the bit. They could like you know they they kick you out for. For life, yeah, they, they'd be having you reckon up that that's, battlefield. That's walking around cards. That added, is, you know? that is. But yeah, so you could just get them randomly um, in loot crates before, mm -hmm. which sort of encouraged you pumping in money into those. Yeah, if you crates. just just like turning yeah. the um, uh, the spinning wheel on, like a, what, mm -hmm. I don't even gamble. What's it called? Ah, roulette. Roulette. I was yeah. thinking more of the, the arm machine thing. Oh, like, right, lucky yeah. bandits. That's what they're called, right, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and or one arm bandits. Yeah, so it's like you could just pump in tons and tons of money and actually get some decent rewards. So yeah, that's okay. changed. Then they've gotten rid of them. Well, epic epic star cards are still in. Okay, but they can only be crafted by materials. But I know mm -hmm. what you're thinking, Jules. Right. You're thinking, what, how does that stop people from just grinding out loot boxes to yeah. get the crafting materials to make them? Well, you have to hit a specific rank 
before you can actually get ah, specific star cards now. Okay, that's cool. So you're basically, you unlock the ability to make the card once yeah. that's what you're doing. But yeah. that's, again, that seems a lot more fair. Okay, cool. Well, that seems yeah. like that's leveled that as well. Anything else? Um, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, everything is just essentially going back to the way it was in Battle, mm -hmm. uh, Battlefront 1 and mm -hmm. uh, Battlefield and Call of Duty. It's the same sort of progression system. And these loot boxes are like way less intrusive than they used to be. Good. So, I mean, I, I I don't I know the office is divided when it comes to loot boxes. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, yeah. I, I I mean I don't love them, but I'm fine as long as they're not intrusive. And I yeah. I really didn't like about the beer. What I really didn't like was that you couldn't just play as a class you wanted to, mm -hmm. and then unlock the stuff you needed for that class. It was just all yeah. down to chance. And I know we, we, we talked about this before. There was because um, there, there was ways of they tried to almost get around that by having the daily assault class challenge, for example, yes. which would reward you with an assault class loot thing. But there was nothing specific to that within that box, really, apart from maybe a, a, a blaster or something mm. like that. Oh, yeah. So I'm actually really glad that they've re-overhauled this entire thing. I think that it makes so much more sense the way that they're approaching this now. The fact that they're taking the randomization out of it so that you can't just pump a load of money in and get like instant rewards to beat other people with. The fact that it's not allowing you to unlock extra slots just by having the card that that relates to, that was also a big problem. So it actually seems now that we're going to get a much more streamlined progression-based and rewarding system, which, to be honest, adds longevity to a game. Mm -hmm. If it gives you a reason to pump all those uh, hours into the game uh, by unlocking different bits or the ability to make new and better stuff, then I'm going to want to come back. I don't want to play a game where somebody can just go, well, I've got more money than you, I can beat you in the first hour. I'd just be like, well, where's, where's your longevity in that game? Well, that was the problem with the first game for a lot of people, mm. was that that longevity wasn't there. Mm. So, so when that beta released and people sort of saw that it was implemented, mm. but in a way that still promoted that sort of casual jump in, mm. sort of whoever has the most money can win mm -hmm. sort of mentality. Mm -hmm. I think that's people reacted a bit negatively to that. Whereas The only thing that I'm still worried about is, is that they didn't handle the progression perfectly in Battlefront 1. You now, do. I mean, if you're talking about just the aesthetic customizations that you could do for characters, you had to wait until you were like level 50 before you could even get somebody that wasn't even a human. Yeah. I was like, that sucks. Like, all the best stuff is that. And do you know how long it took to get to level 50? It was I never made it. It was unbelievable. I didn't even make it. And I saw people walking around. I was like, it would be nice to look different. Mm -hmm. But no, can't do that. But luckily, I, look, I, I mean, I have the literal generic character creation, default head one, <laughs> default beard two. Literally, I, I'm, I'm happy for any sort of thing like that. But mm -hmm. what if I wanted to be a Twi'lek or something like that? You know, like... Well, now you can. Now, you now can. I can. Now you can. Now I can. Hopefully that they actually put a lot more focus into making sure that the um, the epic star cards and the other sort of unlockables by those milestones they're not all weighted towards the end game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it would be a, it'd be good if they actually spaced them out properly. Like mm. give a few tasty treats. Like because before it was just kind of like cool a gun that sounds exactly the same and looks exactly the same. I have no idea why I would choose this gun over that, apart from that it's literally the stat just says it's higher. It's like, yeah. I guess I'm using that now. I mean, you're exactly right. Mm. Uh, yeah, it, like we don't want them to go in the exact opposite way from mm. the bit and lock everything off until the end game because, you know, why? Yes, it just becomes a grind in yeah. itself. You know, there yeah. needs to be a nice middle ground, which they haven't said what rank you need to be to use like the epic uh, star cards sure. but I imagine if there's an epic tier, there's going to be other tiers and then I assume when you get to a certain rank, you can hit. You can, you can make these star cards. When you yeah. get to this rank, you can make these star cards. When you get to this rank, you can make these star cards. Because you can still upgrade your star cards as well, can't you? That was yeah. a big feature that they've put in. So I'm assuming that those upgrades are also locked behind um, progression walls as well. I, I, it's, yeah, as far as, as far as I know. Okay, because this is all from an EA statement that they put out mm -hmm. themselves, wasn't it? I mean, that hopefully is going to put a lot of minds to rest and I'm genuinely excited about this game. I had hands on time with a single player down in London, I played the beta, I know, I know, and, mm. uh, and also now this is just making me even more excited for this game. I don't want to be this excited because I hate being disappointed, yeah. but still, as it stands, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is shaping up very, very well. What do you think about it though? Are you going to buy the game? Has this changed your opinion on it at all? Let us know down in the comments section below, and as always, I've been Jules. He has been Josh. Thank you very much for the information, Josh. He's, he's a very nice boy. He's written a lot of articles on the site. You better be nice to him. You leave him alone. And I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe below. And if you're looking for more content like this, then try a few things that are floating about around my ears. It might be fun. I can't promise it though. But it might be.